Howdy there guys, this is the 100 subscriber video, thank you very much for your subscriptions. I know there's over 100 now, but it was kind of bouncing back and forth, and I wanted to make sure there was at least 100 when I did this. So you might notice that this is a blank canvas and there's no project or anything to touch or point to or manhandle or modify. And that's because for your 100 subscriber video, I'm going to drag out all of my airsoft guns. I'm going to put them all in one place and I'm going to kind of go through them quickly because there is a whole bunch of them. My wife and the kids just left to go visit her parents. So I'm kind of off the leash right now. So this is pretty much the only opportunity I'm going to have to do this because there's no way I want her to see all these in one place. So I'm going to have to clean an entire room, all the floor, move all the furniture out, and I'm going to start stacking these things up. And it's probably going to be shocking, but probably fun to see. So while I clean, you can wait for the cut. So this is Lola. Say hi, Lola. She's responsible for the hair on the ground. So. That's what's next. I got a pallet now. So. Here we go. Probably fill this up, I'm guessing. <sighs> this is going to take a while. Now, I'm only going to put the complete ones on there because I have tons and tons of, you know, parts ones and disassembled ones. I'm only the ones that you see coming immediately after this cut are all complete guns and there's a reason behind it and if you stay towards the end I'll, I'll explain a little bit about that I ain't crazy well some people would argue otherwise so hold on while I huh what the uh oh well what was an insurmountable task is pretty much an impossible task I'm like stepping on them. I can't even like fit them all in here. So we'll try to go through them quick here. Uh, got a episode for that one. Episode for that one. Episodes for actually episodes for this one. Episode uh, RSKP with a hurricane silencer. I got a video coming out on that one. Two uh, CMO 28s G and G. Uh, this one is a JG 74. I haven't really done anything with it yet. Poly Panther, got a series on that. The uh, FAL, I have a video on. The Flectarn M14, I have a video on. Uh, this one I picked up in one of those Evic Mystery boxes, if you saw that. Uh, I've got a pair of these 416s. This one I put a regular A2 stock on, so that's kind of different. Uh, UMP, my SL9, um, a G36, G3. Uh, my <coughs> MC51, uh, G3 SAS that I've customized. I've got a video of my G3s. Uh, well, 4400 series spring rifles. Got a bunch of those M59s. Let's see, this, this one is not complete, but I have everything for it. It's almost done. This thing uh, needs a spring for the trigger. Uh, let's see, I got my... Uh, Mac 11, I think I have a video on that one. Uh, Moss cart grenade launcher. Uh, I think I'm going to do a video on that. I need a new shell. These are real fun to play with, but don't ever take them to a field because they will, you can, like, there's something about your brain if you're good at throwing stuff that it can just intercept things and you don't, might not be doing it consciously, but if you hit somebody in the head and has and will happen, it's going to hurt you. A whole bunch of these uh, different kinds of shells. This is an old Tipman grenade, paint grenade. It's deflated now, but I kept it just because they. This is what we used to use back in the day, and they were kind of fun. They stunk like a sob. And one time, a guy he threw it up, and it bounced off of a tree limb and bounced back and soaked him. And man, he stunk. He we had to make him ride in the back of the truck. So some different shells, a bunch of them. I've got both the Thunder B and the Thunder V styles i kind of prefer the thunder uh, b over the v just because it's metal babies this thing is brand new in the box never even opened it that came in one of those mystery boxes uh let's see more mp7s another one of those things a bunch of these x95s um 
I don't know, they just came in this lot, so I ended up fixing them. Not that I even like them, but there they are. This thing I put a mini Tammy on. It's pretty stupid. It, they just kind of drop out the barrel. It's pretty useless. Uh, my crazy Predator G36. Kind of a little mini update on that. I finally did get all three lasers put on there. So it's pretty insane. I'll put a card for that for sure up there. Uh, probably the second video is the best because it has some of the build and shooting. So, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to put all this stuff back. Holy smokes. Well, now that I'm over here, this guy I really like. I used it for a couple games because I was using this metal body MC-51 and man it's heavy. This little guy you can just spray. It's a kind of one of the uh, uh, high cycle Maruis. I like Maruis. Like if I had my preference that's all I'd buy but there's just not that many of them here in the States. Most of them you get are you know Umarex or JG stuff like that. This thing I really like too. I got the metal body for it. Kind of lucky on that one. This thing I haven't really played around with too much, but I got this knockoff EOTech, one of the Chinese ones. And it's pretty lame as far as that goes, but it's great on this. It works perfectly on this. It's like a match made in heaven. Because the thing really isn't that accurate anyway. So the fact that it's mirrored and kind of stupid doesn't really make a difference. Kind of fun to play with though. I don't know that I'd take it to a game, especially with the gas magazine or the CO2 magazines. You'd have to have a bunch of them, which I guess you could do. And I do have a bunch of magazines. I didn't want to drag all them things out either. But I'm going to have to because that's kind of the purpose of this is to clean up that area where I have them stored, which is kind of difficult and cramped usually. So now that they're all spread out, it's like, oh man, what am I going to do with all these? to put them back and these aren't even all of them there's still more in there but I just have no more place <laughs> there's no more room to put them I filled the entire space I mean I could stack them up but what would be the point of that you wouldn't even be able to see it now this is that rem wrap uh, Remington makes it and you can find it online really cheap and it works pretty good but man don't ever put it on anything you expect to take it off of like this gun is pretty much trash now like if anything like if somebody's like oh i'm just gonna take it off no nope, it's trash like just leave it on there <laughs> but it works pretty good i think it works pretty good it wraps around good it sticks on there good so that was a worthwhile experiment on that you know i'm glad i did it on that not on something you know more valuable where oh man i need to take it off for what for whatever reason you wouldn't be able to and of course i got these two that are build series this one I think is going to be my new favorite once I get it fixed. I got a couple parts I need to put in it to uh, kind of make it what it should be. This one I just finished. That one's pretty cool. I like that one. That one I might play with too. There's some games, some indoor games. And see, I'm not, I'm not really that familiar with indoor games. Like I, I've always played outdoor games. So filming, even when I tried it before, was pretty much pointless because it just looks like you're shooting at bushes. You can't even see what I'm shooting. I'm shooting way farther than the GoPro can, can zoom in on, you know, and I'm not going to sit there and try to zoom in and out in an outdoor game. That's just, to me, that seems impossible. And I ain't got nobody else, <laughs> number one, that would want to do it, and number two, that would be able to do it. <clears throat> so, unless I'm going to play an indoor game, you're probably not going to see too much uh, combat on this channel. It's just an unfortunate thing, but there is that place down in Antioch for Evic that just opened the the new whatever sub store outpost, and I got an invitation to go down there, so I might go check that out. Like I said, I'm not much for indoor games, and I don't think I even have anything that would be like feet per second wise. Well, maybe one of these. I don't know. I'd have to figure out what the feet per second stuff was and the. The limits of the BB weight, you know, however they calculate it out. Poly Panther might be good. It's about 315, 330. That might be all right. That's one of my favorite builds. Like even though it's all plastic, except for the uh, the rail section that I found, that was that's that's like one of my favorite. I think I might take one of those if I do that. Even though it's got a plastic gearbox, man, this thing rock and rolls. Just you know, 
every once in a while, once you get all the different parts, oh, this one's good and this one's good. So I'll just take those two good ones and put it in this one. And eventually you can actually make something decent, which is, was it totally exceeded my expectations, which was funny because usually they don't. <laughs> usually something like that you would just throw in the trash. <laughs> but there it is, man, I really like it, it's fun. Uh, the G36 has a, been a work in progress. I kind of got like, uh, I kind of got distracted on finishing the series. Just, I've got some little detail work to finish up. Like I need another charging handle and just some little things to finish up, but that SL9 is cool. It's just kind of long and heavy. I thought about cutting the suppressor off because it is just kind of like not needed. The barrel comes all the way out to here. So I could just put a shorter barrel in it and then have it be a more functional weapon. I guess you're just basically turning it into a G36 at that point, but I don't see that as having any function since the barrel comes all the way out to the end. Yeah, this is my first gun, Tokyo Marui. I have a video about all that, like I said. Pretty much all these I have a video about, except for maybe some of the smaller stuff and the stuff I don't really care about to present, you know, unless you guys are. So I think I'd really like for kind of just like a little sub thing here is to have you guys put down which one of these is your favorite. Because I already said, I think of all these, I think Poly Panther turned out to be the most surprising. So I would say that's probably my favorite. So with that, I have a couple other things I want to show you. If you stayed this long, that's what I've been kind of doing is drawing you out because I've got a couple surprises here at the end that, uh, might uh, interest you guys for later. You know, I don't just do airsoft. I do inventions and all kinds of other fun stuff. I do mining, I have my mining machine. I'll put a video to that up there. Not too many people have seen that, it's pretty cool. Uh, I have, <clears throat> I've got some dirt I could run right now on video, but since I didn't get too much interest, I didn't really uh, feel the need to, uh, you know, film it. So with that, I'm gonna cut and I'll give you a little taste of what's hiding around where these were hiding around where these were that's a weird thing to say but i guess i have to leave it in since i don't really have an editing program but here it is this is the uh the old girl i'm gonna start to work on her i'm starting to feel better so that's why i haven't really been playing or really doing much of anything with this deal i got going on but since i'm not gonna mention it out loud doesn't really matter it has no power over me so I'm gonna get back to this these are just moths it's no big deal yeah here it is check out the inside yeah pretty much the way I left it Falling power tools, never good. So, kind of just a sneak little preview. If you want to see some videos of this, I sure would like to. I sure would like to. It's been sitting here for a long time waiting for me. Now that I got a wife and kids and stuff, I can actually enjoy it, so. Got some little work to do. This window doesn't fit in here right. So. That's that. I gotta probably uh, cut some new channels for the window track to make it so that it has enough range to get up there all the way. They're power windows. Let's see. Power windows. Power seats too. Let's see. Let's get in this thing. Why not? You waited this long. You can get in here, right? Not much light though. Oh, the steering wheel. E. That's from the steering wheel. That's not good. Bummer. Oh well. Like I said, I figured there was going to be some problems, some issues. At least the dashboard doesn't isn't cut out for the radio. Focus, guy. My one ball to match the outside. It's got the Hurst his and hers. So you can come down here and then it kicks this gate open and you can uh, shift it manually in park but it kicks this gate open when you get over here and you can 
you can push it down into first. I think this one's from a 68. I think that's what the guy said. Because uh, I bought this car in Hawaii from a guy, a really nice guy. And uh, it was all just kind of decrepit. So I fixed it up when I had more time and worked at the junkyard. <laughs> Not much in there. It's good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, power top. It's got, I've got the um, little tonneau cover thingy for it too. It all works. I worked at the junkyard and there was a cutlass that came in and I was able to grab the top off of it. So, uh, I don't know, you want to see the engine? Get out again. I'm going to try to do this with no cuts, but I have a feeling something's going to get shown that doesn't need to be shown. And registration, license plate or some shit. Everything needs to be greased. It's been in here. It's been in here 10 years. How long? It's not a judge. It is a convertible, of course, like you saw on the inside. It's not a judge, though. It's just a regular GTO, but it's not a Le Mans either. So it's a real GTO. One of 661. Made for that year, last year, for the convertible. Although they say there was one made in 72. They don't, can't really prove it. So the engine is uh, the YS, which stock is 300 horse. And so this is just basically the stock engine, except for it has all the Ram Air 4 stuff in it. So the cam. And it's a hydraulic grind, though, with Rhodes lifters. And it's got some roller rockers and shit. Like I said, that's why I do the these videos, because I can never remember what's in this stuff. I have a build sheet somewhere. It's got a Holly uh, intake on it, single plane. Right? Yeah, of course. I remember that much. It's pretty cool. You know, it does its thing. It definitely boils the tires. And it's got it's got these uh, honeycombs, which are really rare. Unfortunately, they're not the original center caps, so the original ones would have been smooth. But this guy years later sent me these, and these are the ones that he had, that he had ordered later on to try to replace the originals that had fallen off years ago. I guess his daughter used to drive this thing to high school. And at that point it was painted silver and that would have been awesome. How would that have been to have in high school? Painted silver like a shark in Hawaii. Come on. Come on, man. But I can't complain. My childhood was pretty bitching too. So maybe it, a future subscriber date we'll get to that. But for now, I guess that's going to be it. So thanks for watching, guys. And thanks for subscribing if you made it this far. Thanks a lot, because <laughs> I kind of droned on there just to kind of put this off for later. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, I did say there was a couple things, didn't I? Let's just talk about these two things for a second. I know, I know, trust me, I know. You know what? These are 20 or uh, $47 titanium fucking clip. I mean, eep, nail clippers. These are the only things that will cut my nails. And I do it all the time. I do it all the time. They grow really fast. But the benefit of it is, is they're really hard. I can punch my thumbnail through a cardboard box or any other part of a human anatomy that I want to. Or I can use them as screwdrivers or knives or forks or anything I need to, you know? It's, it's not something that I can do something about other than cut them. And so you're just gonna kinda have to get over it other than the yellow nail. That's what these are for. This is like day two so quitting smoking and cutting my nails more often I understand you don't have to put it in the comments it's not like I said something that I can really do anything about by the time you see the next video they'll be back they'll be back it's just how it works so I am going to give you the satisfaction of seeing them cut but by the next video they'll be back so cut oh, I'm doing this you might as well uh listen to it um, so just wanted to say you know uh, thinking about my dad because it was his birthday th the day of the giveaway you know everybody should thank their dad for what they do like even if they're you know something that maybe you don't think you should be proud of everything has its place you know if you have a job then you're doing something for somebody 
except for lawyers maybe so you know thank them for what they do you know my dad happened to be in the army so that's kind of something that I you know in this country anyway that we feel proud of as individuals hey you asked for it you asked for it you want to sit there and cuss me out about them you're gonna to have to listen to it it's just the way it is man all right you happy you happy I mean, look at how thick that thing is. How do you, how, you know, they're like freaking toenails, bro. Just saying. Just saying. Let me just get that out of the way. Just saying. So, that out of the way. Bye.